Mo Better Blues is a 1990 American musical comedy drama film starring Denzel Washington, Wesley Snipes, and Spike Lee, who also wrote, produced, and directed. It follows a period in the life of fictional jazz trumpeter Bleak Gilliam as a series of bad decisions result in his jeopardizing both his relationships and his playing career. The film focuses on themes of friendship, loyalty, honesty, cause and effect, and ultimately salvation. In Brooklyn, New York in 1969, a group of four boys walk up to Bleak Gilliam's brownstone apartment and ask him to play baseball with them. Bleak's mother insists that he continue his trumpet lesson. His father becomes concerned that Bleak will grow up to be a sissy, and a family argument ensues. Bleak continues playing his trumpet, and his friends depart. Over 20 years later, an adult Bleak performs on the trumpet at a busy nightclub with his successful jazz band, the Bleak Quintet. Giant, childhood friend and the band's manager, advises Bleak to stop allowing his saxophone player Shadow Henderson to grandstand with long solos. The next morning Bleak wakes up with his girlfriend, Indigo Downs. She leaves to go to class, while he meets his father for a game of catch, telling him that while he likes Indigo, he likes other women too and is not ready to make a commitment. Later in the day while he is practicing, another woman named Clark Bentoncourt visits him. She suggests that he fire Giant as manager, he suggests that they make love. He becomes upset when she bites his lip, saying, I make my living with my lips. Giant meets with his bookie to place bets. He meets Bleak at the club with the rest of the band, except for the pianist, Left Hand Lacey, who arrives late with his French girlfriend and is scolded by Giant. Later Giant goes to the club owner's office, points out how busy the club has been since Bleak and his band began playing there, and unsuccessfully attempts to renegotiate their contract. Giant meets his bookie the next morning, who is concerned that Giant is going too deep into debt. Giant shrugs it off and places several new bets. He then stops at Shadow's home to drop off a record. Shadow confides in him that he is cheating on his girlfriend. This leads to the next scene where Bleak is in bed with Clark, and she asks him to let her sing a number at the club with his band. He declines her request. Bleak and Giant fend off requests from the other band members for a raise due to the band's success. Bleak goes to the club owners to ask for more money, which they refuse, reminding him that Giant locked him into the current deal. That night, both Clark and Indigo arrive at the club to see Bleak. They are wearing the same style dress, which Bleak had purchased for them both. Bleak attempts to work it out with each girl, but they are both upset with him, and though he sleeps with them each again, they leave him. However, tension rises with Shadow who has feelings for Clark. During a bike ride together, Bleak insists that Giant should try to do a better job managing the band. Giant promises to do so, and then asks Bleak for a loan to pay his gambling debts. Bleak declines, and later Giant is apprehended by two loan sharks who demand payment. Giant can't pay and gets his fingers broken. Later Giant tells Bleak that he injured himself during a cookout, but Bleak doesn't believe him. Giant asks the other band members for money, and Left loans him $500. When loan sharks stake out Giant's home, he goes to Bleak for a place to stay who agrees to help him raise the money but fires him as manager. Bleak misses both his girlfriends and leaves messages for each, but Clark has begun a new relationship with Shadow. Bleak finds out about it and fires Shadow. The lone sharks find Giant at the club, take him outside, and beat him while Bleak plays, but before Bleak can raise the money. Bleak goes outside to intervene and gets beaten as well with one lone shark taking Bleak's own trumpet and smacking him across the face with it, permanently injuring his lip and making him unable to continue playing the trumpet. Over a year later following his recovery and slump, Bleak reunites with Giant, who has become a doorman and stopped gambling. He drops in to see Shadow and Clark, who got out of the former club's contract and are now performing together with the rest of Bleak's former band. Shadow invites him on stage, and they play together. Still with scars on his lips and unable to play well, Bleak walks off the stage, gives his trumpet to a supportive giant, and goes directly to Indigo's house. Angry with him because he hasn't contacted her in over a year, she tries to reject him but agrees to take him back when he begs her to save his life. A montage flashes through their wedding, the birth of their son Miles, and their happy family with Bleak teaching his son to play the trumpet. In the final scene, a ten-year-old Miles wants to go outside to play with his friends. Indigo wants him to finish his trumpet lessons. However, unlike in the opening scene, 
Bleak relents and allows his son to play with friends.